Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, and I host the Valder Beebe Show on FM radio and internet television. I am famously known for that celebrity interview, which I conduct by cell phone, in studio, or satellite media tours. Go to ValderBeebeShow.com, YouTube.com slash Show, or our partnership network with Business in the Black, which is BlackSuccessAcademy.com, and click on the Valder BB Show channel. I'll see you there. Alicia Braga, thank you so much and for joining us here live in Dallas, Texas on the Valder BB Show on KKVI FM Radio. How are you? I am good, and you? Thank you for having me. I'm fine. You're at this pinnacle in your career. I wanted my audience to know we just finished talking about you, uh, but Alicia Braga, uh, you will be seeing her, if you haven't seen her already, um, on Queen of the South. Uh, you're at this pinnacle in your career. Tell me what, Tell me what's the best thing about where you are now, and then we'll talk about the Queen of the South. I think the best thing definitely is, is, is the journey of it. I think like having the chance to, to, to be a foreign working in the U.S., like having the chance to meet so many different people and, and, and have a TV show airing uh, uh, is very special. I feel honored, actually, by it. I love so much acting that having the chance to portray a character that I love on a national TV show is kind of amazing. I'm very thankful. <laughs> And you are from Brazil, aren't you? Yes, I'm from Brazil. Okay, so as you're at a time where, you know, we've got some things going on uh, in the country that's known to embrace people from all countries. So I-, I love your attitude about being grateful for that. Now, tell me about Queen of the South, because I did watch it, and it is, it, you got to be an adult to watch this. It's intense. <laughs> <laughs> it's intense. It's a quite of a journey for my character. It is, but you you portray it so well. You make the audience feel they're there, and 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 this is this is happening. Is is, is any of this? I know it's based on the novels. Is this real? Because my little world is so sheltered, Alicia. So forgive me for not knowing. I'm going like people really do this stuff. They really <laughs> live like this. Thank you very much for believing it and for saying that, that that you felt for my character. I think that's the best thing that, that an actor can ever hear from someone. So thank you. Um, You're it's, welcome. It's, it's based on a, on a Arturo Perez Reverte's novel. He's a Spanish writer. Um, they decided for the American version to change the journey from the book. So it's not exactly what it's in the book. But I, I base myself the, on the character from the book. And I mean, like, it's not it's not facts that like we don't portray facts that actually happen but but it's kind of like giving the entertainment of this world and it's funny because this every, a lot of people ask me about this drug world why people get so curious about it and I think when you see like shows like Sopranos Breaking Bad and and films with drug lords and all that people get engaged to it because it's not something that you see on your personal life daily basis life normally so I think people get excited about those type of shows and uh none of it is true but definitely some stories might might be kind of true so so my character is okay is not a let real person a- thank god <laughs> okay let me ask you this so it just say it's not true and some of it is true how does your soul process this acting when you when you don't have a nice sweet roll because this is not a nice sweet roll. How's your soul process this? It's funny because my mom keeps saying when she saw season one of Queen of the South, she was like, "Please do a romantic comedy. I need you to do a romantic <laughs> comedy." <laughs> Always listen so, to your mom. <laughs> it's so intense. There's so much action and so much uh, power and blood. Um, I just love it. I think uh, uh, I try just to base myself on the reality of of Teresa and and to try to be truthful to who she is and and how much she's, she's gone through her life and how much she fights to survive and never victimized herself. And I think it's great as an actress to have the chance to portray a character that is strong 
it's so beautiful. I think there's so many, we need more female strong girls and we're having more and more nowadays. So it's very exciting to be, you know, one of these actresses to have the chance to portray a character like Teresa. Well, you led into my next comment. You know, we got in America, we have this movie Wonder Woman that's coming out. Which yes. is not Wonder Woman is not new, but the, the movie is taking the world by storm and people are hollering girl power. This is real girl power, what you're doing. Yeah, and I'm really glad. I'm glad that they did because I'm even myself. Like as a, as a as a kid growing up, I always wondered. Like I was like, where is a girls' film? And, and it's great that now they're doing it. And I'm, I'm excited. And actually, I heard from some people that the trailer for Queen of the South was opening before Wonder Woman. I haven't got the chance because I was working, so I haven't got the chance to go to the movies. I'm gonna go this weekend, but it's really excited. I think it's important for us to 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 see that and to, to applaud that. It's a great moment for women, definitely. Well, well, Alicia, we applaud you for such a great portrayal and you've given me a dimension of life that I don't really know or ever even thought about and and people in Mexico are living large. I just <laughs> love that part. <laughs> Thank you very much, I appreciate it, thank you. When do you want us to watch you on USA? Thursdays at 10 p.m. It's premiering tonight, actually. <laughs> well, I believe you have lots of new fans. Count me among them. I will be watching. I will be watching again intently. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you very much. Thank Please. you.